Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, I let you know that after installing the January Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows, basically across the whole range of Windows, that would be 25 and 24H2 of Windows 11, 23H2 of Windows 11, and also Windows 10. And for Windows 25 and 24H2, that was KB5074109. And for 23H2, that was KB5073455. And for Windows 10, KB5073724. There were remote desktop protocol issues while using the Windows app. So that was an official known issue that Microsoft had confirmed over on its known issues health dashboard page. Now, just a quick recap for the purpose of this video that Microsoft says that after installing the January 2026 Windows security updates, as mentioned, credential prompt failures might occur in some remote connection apps. This includes remote desktop connections using the Windows app on Windows client devices, on Azure virtual desktop and Windows 365. Microsoft says the Windows app is affected by this issue on specific Windows builds and can experience sign-in failures. Other remote connections and related applications may be similarly impacted according to Microsoft. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft, due to this issue, has rolled out an out-of-band update, also referred to as an emergency OOB update. Now, this is an update you won't find on the Windows Update page. It's not pushed out using Windows Update. Most out-of-band emergency updates are manual updates you have to download and install manually from the Microsoft Update Catalog. And the out-of-band update, if we head over to the Update Catalog, is KB5077744. And yeah, the different versions of Windows. And you can click on the download to to download and install the update. And if you don't know how to install and download an update manually, I've posted a whole video on that. I'll leave it linked down below and in the end screen. So Microsoft says that the issue has been resolved. To address this issue, an out-of-band OOB update was released January 17, 2026 in the Microsoft Update Catalog and can be found as the said update as mentioned. And by the way, I'll leave this download page in the description for easy access and reference. And just take note, Microsoft says that if you have not yet deployed the January 2026 Windows Security Update, it recommends applying this OOB update instead before installing the update, obviously to circumvent the problem. And then you can go ahead and then download the January 2026 security update. And as I mentioned in my previous video for the known issue, this was basically affecting all versions and editions of Windows, right from Windows 11 25H2 right through to the server editions as well. So quite an important update that's rolled out. Out of band, it only installed the update if you were experiencing the issues as described in the video. Else just ignore the update if you haven't experienced any issues you don't have to install that OOB out-of-band emergency update. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.